Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video for Monday the 27th of 2017, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays fairly quiet this week, but potential for a pattern change here in about 10 to 15 days. What does that mean for us? Let's see if we can figure it out. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view early this morning. So you got a big uh, trough coming into the western states, the old subtropical jet stream underneath that, slamming into Southern California, ridging across the middle of the country. They're going to see some record warmth today up in the high plains. And a new surge of drier air has dropped in here this morning, and it's pretty cold to start the day. We've got 28 for Fort Payne and Gadsden, uh, below freezing for Decatur, the Shoals, Coleman, Anniston, uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, mid-30s. High today will be in the 60s, a beautiful day, blue sky and sunshine. Around the nation, the coldest air is kind of locked up in Canada for now. And again, with that ridge, we're going to see some very warm weather for late November up into parts of the Great Plains. But again, for us, fairly seasonal today. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Pretty quiet. Some wind issues out west. And severe weather should not be a problem this week. That's the convective outlook today. Hardly any thunder around the nation. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Bigger numbers back in the Pacific Northwest. Around here, just not much. This is the rain through Monday of next week, Monday, December 4th. Only a tenth of an inch or less for most places. And down in southeast Alabama around Dothan and Eufaula, nothing. All right, model fans, let's go. GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today. There's the trough in the western states. Trough in the eastern Gulf. And for us, again, beautiful weather. Sunny with mid-60s today. Tomorrow, upper 60s are likely. The sky will stay sunny. Wednesday, highs approaching 70. Probably some clouds increasing as moisture starts to feed in. We might mention a slight chance of a shower late in the day, but much of the day looks dry. And then Thursday, we will mention potential for a few rain showers. Thursday and Thursday night, nothing heavy with the surface boundary dropping in. This is Friday. Uh, the air should be drier at that point. The sky becomes partly sunny. Highs will likely stay in the 60s. There's no Arctic air involved in this. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Evidence of moisture may be pooled a little east of the state over Georgia and South Carolina. For us, I think we'll leave it dry, mostly sunny with low 60s. And Sunday should be sunny with low to mid 60s. And lows for the weekend should be in the 30s. So for Saturday and Sunday, cold nights, comfortable days, and no rain. Go to Monday of next week, deep trough in the western states. We've got ridging here. For us, that will be uh, dry. And again, high should be in the 60s. And let's keep going. What do you say here? This is Wednesday of next week, 10 days out. The 6th, that trough in the west is getting closer. And down below that, there could be some uh, pretty decent rain and thunderstorm action just west of the state. And we wonder if that might move in here toward the end of next week. Remember, this is tornado season. And this is the European Ensemble output for Saturday, December 9th. And you can see the pattern change here. Uh, now we got a big trough in the eastern states, and that would seem to open up the door for much colder air. And that's kind of a blocked pattern, which means it might persist for a while. And I'm not saying it's going to be cold and snowy at Christmas. Nobody's saying that, but it looks like the latter half of December could be uh, relatively cold and could be relatively active with uh, better rain chances at times. You can see the drop off in the uh, European Ensemble guidance with 60s through about December the 6th and highs drop to 50 out there toward December 8th and beyond with lows down toward freezing. And again, this is coming off the uh, European Ensemble as well. And you can see all 51 members really ramp up the uh, rain as we get into uh, d December and January. And again, there's no way of being specific out here, but I think there is skill at some pattern recognition. And this is the ensemble mean down below that has rain amounts of uh, approach right at six inches uh, between now and, uh, say, January 10th. But again, we just don't, don't know the specifics. And do we, do we even want to look at this? Nah, let's don't. 
Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.